There's another space shuttle countdown underway, only this time there will be no launch at the conclusion. Rather, it will mark the end of the space shuttle program. When it first arrived at Cape Kennedy in 1979, NASA's STS, or Space Transportation System, the shuttle's formal name, was arguably the most complex vehicle ever fabricated. Comprising a pair of solid fuel booster rockets, a huge main fuel tank, and a winged orbiter, it was the world's first reusable spacecraft. Even though the assemblage weighed four and a half million pounds, the combined engine's thrust output of nearly six million pounds lifted it straight up, and then the main engines accelerated it to more than 17,000 miles per hour. From takeoff to orbit took just eight and a half minutes. While technologically advanced, the shuttle was and remains a kind of space pickup truck. Its large aft hold carries scientific modules, deep space probes, and other spacecraft. In recent years, the orbiter fleet has been heavily engaged in the construction and resupply of the International Space Station. Since first flight in 1981, space shuttles have carried more than 3 million pounds of cargo into orbit on more than 120 missions, crewed by hundreds of astronauts. A success by many measures. However, the danger inherent in such missions was made dramatically and painfully evident in January 1986 when the shuttle Challenger exploded 73 seconds after lifting off from Cape Kennedy after an O-ring failed. And then again in February 2003 when the shuttle Columbia, a wing damaged on liftoff, broke up during re-entry. Fourteen astronauts died in those two accidents. Even though the three remaining shuttles, Discovery, Atlantis, and Endeavour, may have a lot of operational life left, their mission will end in 2010 when the government plans to retire them for good. It will be several years after that, at the very least, before NASA resumes manned missions, and then using capsules rather than winged craft. The new mission? Go far and explore. Not the right kind of job for a low-flying pickup.